So I think this is a, a very fundamental overhaul, I mean, complete change, complete shift in the, uh, in, in, in the experience and the industry overall. Um, you know, people have, have expectations that are growing, and this is, you know, the immersive media um, experience and the whole shift around 4K, Ultra HD is fundamentally going to, to fulfill that, those expectations, probably set the bar even higher. Beyond resolution, beyond just the number of pixels uh, on a given screen, um, you know, high dynamic range is also something that's gonna, that has a lot of promise. I mean, I, I HDR is something that typically you, you know it when you see it, something that you cannot, you know, not uh, see the difference versus the current, you know, so to speak, low dynamic range. It's the thing that's, that's so staggering, the way it improves the contrast and, the, and how, the, how the, uh, uh, the picture look uh, in challenging um, environment where the contrast is too low. Uh, so it's, it's really, it really makes a big difference. Again, people see the difference. Uh, they, you know, you look side by side, people understand at once that it makes a huge difference and they want it. Now this has fundamental implications because it changes the whole chain uh, for the industry from start to finish. It means you need to shoot differently, different cameras, you need to do the post-production in a specific fashion. The transmission, you know, 4K and HDR have implications. You need much, you know, much bigger pipe, a lot more bandwidth. So it has a lot of ripple effects for the industry at large. It's, it's not a mundane change. It's going to take years. It's going to take probably a, like HD a decade before you know everyone has uh, those experiences. Everyone has UHD with HDR. Uh, but positions are being you know taken at the at the onset. Technologies choices in HDR are going to be made in the next year or two years. So this is when the battle is won or lost essentially. After that, it's kind of incremental wins or losses. But the big wins or the big losses are going to happen in the, in the next 24 months, really.